So the Asian swing continues this week. Now we're going over to Beijing for the first time in a while. Haven't been to China for four years. Of course, the Shanghai Masters coming up next week, the biggest tournament of the Asian swing. But let's go have a look at the players that are not going to be playing next week due to withdrawal. A few players are not playing. Batista Agu, he's pulled out. Berrettini, of course, pulling out with injury. Karina Busta, also injured and not playing. Taylor Fritz, he's pulled out, and so has Tiafo. And Fritz and Tiafo, of course, played Labor Cup last week, so you wonder whether or not it was just getting from Vancouver to China with the jet lag and all of that. Maybe they didn't want to play, but some big names there that won't be playing in this event. Let's get at the top of the draw because we have some massive names that are playing in this event. We have eight seeds in this one. No one gets a buy in the first round. Alcaraz, back for the first time. He takes that number one seed. He's taken a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match will take on the winner of Hashinov and Rusetti. Who are going at it in the first round. Then you've got another qualifier taking on Echeverry. Winner of that will take on either Struff or the number seven seed, Rude. And those guys played a very fun match at the start of the season on the clay courts. Of course, we haven't seen Struff for a long time, but that could be a really fun first round match. Speaking of first round matches, number three seed, Runa. He takes on Felix Ogelia-Seam in the first round. What the hell is that kind of a match for a first round? Of course, FAA dropping down the rankings. That's why he's in the first round there. Unseeded, huge first round there. Winner of that will take on either McDonald or Dimitrov in the second round. Then we've got Song taking on Nishioka. Winner of that will take on either Evans or the number six seed Sinner. I mean, there are some fire first round matches in this section, not to mention fire second round matches as well. We've got a potential matchup in the semifinal. Elgris could take on Runa, which has been a great match in the past. Elgris Sinner. We've seen that a few times this year, and we've loved to see it again. Or if you want to go by something a little different, you could go Rude versus Runa, Rude versus Sinner, or some other combination of players. But man, it is a top-heavy draw. Going to the bottom half of the draw now, we've got Zverev, the number eight seed, taking on Schwartzman. Winner of that will take on either Fakina or Zoe in the second round. Then we've got a battle of the qualies. Winner of that match will take on either Jarry or the number four seed, City Pass, in the second round. That's a banger first round match as well. Then we've got the number five seed, Rublev, taking on Nori. Another crazy first round. Winner of that will take on either Umber or Sonego in the second round. Then we've got Dimitor taking on Murray, which is an in insane first round again, but not as insane as this match. Paul will take on the number two seed, Medvedev, in that first round. I mean, again, crazy matchups. Jerry Sidney Pass, Schwartzman Zverev, maybe two, three years ago would have been interesting, but not so much now. Dimitor Murray, that's going to take four hours. Paul Medvedev, what the hell does that look like? And then Rublev Nori, I mean, there are some crazy matchups in the first round and potentially in the second round of this event. And if we're going by the seeds in this one, we could be getting a City Pass versus Medvedev semi-final, or if you want to go by some form, we can go with Medvedev versus Zverev in that semi-final, or we could even get Rublev versus City Pass, Rublev versus Zverev, or any of the random matchups, because I think we're going to get a lot of upsets in this one. So there you have it. They are the matchups for the first round. I mean, this is a 500 event. And it feels like a 1,000 event. It feels like a Grand Slam without Djokovic. But, you know, we've had a few of those lately. But, man, what a crazy, crazy tournament. And some players that are in form. It's Zverev's in a final tonight. We'll see what he looks like as of tomorrow when he wins. Or if he wins. But, man, what a crazy draw. Who's going to win this one? I don't know. Medvedev, I mean, he's been good in Asia. Zverev's in form. Do you go with City Pass, Sinner, Rublev, Runa, Rude, Alcaraz? Or do you go random? We could get an unseated player. They'd have to beat a lot of good players to win, but maybe an unseated player. Let me know down in the comments below, but the China Open absolutely stacked for 2023.